We're going crabbing here in Oregon. Nels is our captain. You worried, Lincoln? Nope. I'm worried that it'll fracture my finger. Here's our bait right here. The seals won't steal the chicken. Crabs will go to town on it and just pull them up. Goal is 20 crab today. Dungeness, white tips, rock crabs, black tips. Anything with black tips. And then the white tips will only keep male? Males only. Okay, and then when you look on their bottom, when you flip them over, males have a real skinny little pedestal on there, and the whim of the females looks like a honeycomb. Just you grab the back leg. Grab the two back legs. Okay. Don't grab top and bottom because they can reach underneath the shell and get your fingers. Okay. Boom. That's forward. <laughs> yeah, watch where you're going, not where you've been. Thank hey. you. I like that. Watch where you're going, not where you've been. That's like a life lesson. <laughs> Bryce is an awesome crab bird man. Uh, oh, why? I thought it was a big crab. So did I. I don't know. The crabs are pranking crab. us. <laughs> Here, help me out. Grab it. Bad spot. So we're not sure if we like are doing this exactly the right way, we're, we're pretty sure. I mean, just set the cage down and pull it up, right? All we're pulling up is chicken. Um, see how this one goes. This is a female, huh? Let me see. Oh yeah, that's a female. Too bad. It was, right? Yeah. First female. There you go. Okay. Which I'm thinking. It's just one, though. There's... Is that male? We don't know if it's male or female yet. Do you? No. Flip them over to check. Careful. Let go. One eternity later. The place that we're crabbing with is called Nitarts. We didn't know that we would be doing this on our own. So he was giving us instructions and then he's like, all right, if you need anything, just call us. And we're like, wait, we're just gonna take your boat out? Hey, don't be afraid of the Lincoln. I am afraid of them. Oh, this one only doesn't, oh, there's none.
flip him, flip him around, and then grab him. Oh, that's so funny! <laughs> He's like, hey, He's like, come at me, bro. hey, hey, I'm hey. I got my arms out when it kills you. You grab the other one. Okay, grab his back legs, remember? Kiss it. Oh, girls, don't. <laughs> Give me the bucket. Oh, yeah! Nice work. Yeah. We just finished crabbing and it was so fun. So sweet. Scale of one to ten? Oh, for sure ten. ten. Especially like when you're pulling it up and then you see the crabs inside and you're like, yeah! <laughs> I caught some! Plus thinking about eating them, it's I'm gonna be so good. Stoked. So for the white tip crabs, if they're female, you gotta throw them back in. It seemed like the biggest were females and they knew we'd be throwing them back. Like, we caught one, it was just sitting there, just eating chicken. Just waiting for me to toss it back in the water. It looks like a slider. It is a slider. Yeah. <laughs> it is a slider. I mean, people do eat them, but they're really bland. Bon appetit! I'm like, happy and sad. <laughs> they started like, when they first got in, they were like, trying to get out. But now oh. they're probably dead. You're gonna have a feast tonight. Cooked all the way? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they just cooked it. Oh, that's a good yeah, chunk. I'm used to having like this. Because it's cold. That's good. It hasn't been frozen six times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thawed in your local public supermarket. True. Barnacles are right on it. That's totally fresh. I mean, it's pretty rich actually. And the legs, and twist the shell off. Oh, okay. That's the butter. That noise was horrible. <laughs> That's the butter that you... This isn't as bad as cutting a fish. Making... <laughs> you know, watch out for those. those uh... your That's it. You almost got it. There you go. <gasps> I did it. Mm. What is that? Pull the lungs That's off. its lungs? Yeah, yeah. pull those off. Oh, look at its... I thought you were going to eat those. Okay, no, <laughs> don't eat those. What happens if I do? That's it? Now you can eat it. Now you can crack it open. So I'm now you got, now you can do 20 more. There you go. Good. I'm thrown out. Right. It would save us 50 cents per grab. Here you go. Oh, man. Oh, I get it, honey. There you go. at this feast. It's amazing. We just got back, got the fire going, got the butter out, got our little contraptions here. This party's pretty crabby. <laughs> so crabby. We macheted the bottom of the water bottles off with the butter in them. So he was saying here a pound of crab um, just raw in the shell, alive I guess, is about ten to eleven dollars. A pound and then um, Cleaned and cooked like we're doing, like, like this, is he said between $30 and $35 a pound. At least it can get that high here. And so, um, this is a pretty expensive dinner at the campsite over the campfire. <laughs> Five stars right here. Yeah, baby. Here, watch. I'll show you how. Get close. Okay. Then, crack this end. Actually, I'm just going to do this. Oh, I didn't crack enough of it. Then you gotta oh, dig. Look at that. The thing is, when the legs are small, I don't want to get There's the meat parts. right there. Fresh. Hi, 
guys? It thinks we're feeding it, I think. I bet it thinks we're feeding it. Oh my gosh, look on the right, look on the right, look on the right. Oh my god. Hi, Hi guys. Holy <laughs> all over. Oh, oh, hi. I really think we're he wants, them. He wants food. Want food. Want oh food. my gosh. Want food? I'm just kidding. I'm not doing that. It's going to attack me now. He wants my food now. I don't take them a little. Don't I want them like... Oh my They're gosh. so cute. They're like the cutest things I've seen There's in my so life. There's so many. Oh. Hi. Oh my gosh. So, who's sleeping without a tent tonight? <laughs> Natalie? So we are wrapping up for the night, and we have our leftovers from eating all the crab. And uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. We're just gonna set up some cameras. I debated laying under the picnic table wrap and then grabbing a raccoon. Just, I don't know why. I think we're just gonna see what happens and just watch it for a little bit, from a distance.